This video is about fixing your scans that spiral out of control. Uh, right here, I'm just using my default settings. As you can see, it shows up pretty well. Go ahead and click start. As you can see, it starts to move and you start to see all these little lines appear. These lines are actually the markers are on the turntable. But what's happening is the scanner can't interpret how they're moving, so it just spirals it around. I'm going to go ahead and let the scan finish and show you what happens. As you can see, it looks like a big mess. All right, it finished scanning. So now I'm going to go through and fuse the point clouds, but you can see it looks like a solar system. Okay, it's done fusing the point cloud and it looks even worse. The lines are kind of gone, but now it looks like you have multiple of them. We'll go ahead and mesh it because whenever you mesh it, it gets a little bit better. As you can see, it looks a little bit better, but it's still a mess. It's a not usable scan. But I'll show you how to fix it in a second. So all you have to do is add something around it or next to it to help with tracking. This right here is just a 3D printed 20-sided dice. Use the same settings that I used before. Gonna go ahead and click start. And as you can see, it's scanning and it's not spiraling around. The little marker dots, they're not spiraling around either. Just simply adding an extra item next to the item you're trying to scan helps a lot with tracking and it's coming around the other end it's almost done I know some of you are wondering if it's going to miss the low area right there but end up catching it okay it's finished gonna go ahead and fuse the points you can see it doesn't look that good now, but you know, as soon as you fuse the points, it looks better. As you can see, it looks much better. It's not a hundred percent, but once you mesh the model, it'll get a lot better. Using the same settings I used before, I believe. And there's the finished product. You can see they captured all the detail. There are some holes that are missing. I think those are just the black spots that were on the lid itself. And you can see this little tag right there. That's from one of the marker dots. You can actually use the clip plane button to get rid of those in your scan. But thank you for watching.